Today's the f***ing day. It's you and me, you sh box. Oh no. Hi, my name is Grace Helby. If you did not know now, you know your life is different now. I am clearly dressed in my best gardening clothes, which only means one thing. Today we're turning a goddamn toilet into a goddamn planter, and there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. You like this? Look how intimate this video is already. That's what all gardening videos are. Very relaxed and intimate, and that's the energy I hope you experience today, because it's something we all need. Now, if you guys don't remember, that's fine, because memory is just a complete illusion in the quarantine. Elliot and I installed a new toilet in our bathroom. Look at it. Oh, that seems too intimate. Look at it. It still works. We did that about 17 years ago, which means that I have a spare toilet out here. And the plan forever has been to turn that toilet into a planter. And today, it's finally happening. I don't know why I've been so hesitant to do it. I think it's just been like such a fun project in my mind that committing to doing it means I can mess it up. And if I don't try, I don't fail. And that's what we call self-sabotage, but not today. <sighs> Why am I nervous? Because I want to do a good job. For the toilet's sake. We overlook toilets, but they're the real heroes. And I want to do it justice. You know, it's provided me so much that I want to honor it. Feng Shui. So a while ago, I ordered a bunch of little tiny baby succulents. Look at these. They're so cute. I want to squeeze them. Why is that something that humans think about? It's so cute. I want to cause it drama. I don't think I should be a mother, but I have all these tiny little succulents and I have a variety of other succulents. I love succulents. They look like little aliens and they're pretty self-sufficient. You can't really hurt them too much. And I love things that just have a lot of walls up. I have done next to zero research on the right way to do this. You know, when you think about doing anything, there's no real right way. Unless you're talking about driving, childbirth, making bread, I guess. And I don't like to flood my brain with other people's techniques. I like to try and figure it out for myself. That might also be some form of self-sabotage, but I like to think of it as allowing myself the opportunity to creatively problem solve. What I understand about turning a toilet into a planter is you just plant plants in it and the toilet becomes a planter. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm also whispering because I don't know why I'm a little insecure standing outside of my house where my neighbors can see me in a Top Gun onesie putting plants into a toilet. But you know, we're all just, you know, doing the best we can. So I'm just gonna go for it. But first I'm gonna stand here and overanalyze it and think about all the ways it could go wrong first. That's the first step. All right, let's see this toilet before it's makeover. Oh I'm already sweating. The next obvious step is to pose with your toilet like a lighthearted rom-com or comedy movie poster. So this is what we're working with. It's a little dirty from being outside and facing the natural outdoor elements. Oh God. All this stuff in here that I guess I'll have to take out. The plan is to put soil in this guy and in this guy and then plant and have a beautiful piece of confusing art. Think of this as like the makeover montage of the nerdy girl in like every teen comedy. Okay, I actually had to take a quick break because I had to pee and I didn't want that toilet to know. Instead, I wanted to give her some time to reflect on the fact that she's beautiful just the way she is and we're not changing any of her core values. We're just, you know, putting on some fake eyelashes, basically. There she is, just reflecting. All right, let's do this. I'm probably already doing this wrong, but there's nothing you can do to stop me. Already she's so beautiful. She can get so many Zoom dates. So it's brought to my attention that the stuff in the top tank part of the toilet doesn't just pop out. So uh, we're gonna have to get a little bit more aggressive. Very symbolic, a lot of us wanna hold on to the things that we don't need anymore, that are just holding us back. I really gotta learn to let go. She's letting go. I broke it. Turns out when you force change, Sometimes it happens. It has also quickly been brought to my attention that I don't have enough soil. This plant's been dying consistently since I got it, which has been just a real cool mood to have lingering around. So I think we're gonna take some of this soil. We're just gonna put this one over there for now and deal with it later. My quick self-help guide.
you know what I could do with these hands? Real House has some Dallas reference. I'm really proud of it so far. Okay, now let's clean her up. This is what they must feel like on Queer Eye every episode. This looks so cool. <laughs> right? This looks so cool. Oh, is that recording? <laughs> yeah. Real reaction. It's really cool. Yeah. Did Way you, to go. Did you have any doubts? It looks really cool. Yeah, you didn't answer about the doubts though, but that's cool. <laughs> oh, don't look at this. Ta-da! Yeah, I put her inside my house in my office. Who doesn't want a god dang toilet in their god dang office? Ignore all that. Wow, we did it! Look at her, she's absolutely gorgeous! Got a little bit of a haircut up here, but I figure the smaller succulents will grow and fill in the space. I'm in love with this toilet. And that's not the first time that I've said those words out loud. I hope this video inspired you to think out of the box in quarantine. You can really make anything out of anything. This is a big old BM. Beautiful moment. I guess I have a knack for finding the beauty in things that are full of shit. On that note, I have to thank Care Of for sponsoring this video. In line with things like crafting and DIY projects that we're all doing to better ourselves. Care of is another way that you can help better yourself because as someone that doesn't treat their body the best, hence probably why there's an excess of toilets in my house, I can use all the help I can get on efficiently attempting to better my body. If you're not familiar, Care Of is a wellness brand that makes it easy for you to maintain health goals by helping you in the vitamin and supplement departments. Basically, you go to their website, you take a super easy online quiz, and then they help you find the vitamins and the powders that are best for you. Once you take the quiz and you approve all the vitamins and supplements that you feel are right for you, they send you these little individual vitamin packs. Look at that, how freaking cute is that? You can take them on the go with you when you're allowed to go on the go again, and they have a new skin and hair collection. There's targeted ingredients for your skin, your hair, and your nails. We definitely need some help on our nails after today. Look how long my hair has gotten. It looks actually kind of healthy, even though I've had no professional help with it since December. You didn't hear that. And you can follow their recommendations or you can adjust them to personalize it just for you at any point, super easy. And now you guys can get 50% off your first Care Of order. 55-0% off by going to takecareof.com and entering the code GRACEH50. Again, you can get 50% off your first order, five, zero, by going to takecareof.com using the code GRACEH50. Perfect. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. This has been a long time coming. I was very nervous about doing it because I didn't want to do it bad and I think we did it good and I'm just very excited about it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. I make videos, you know. You actually don't know when I'm gonna make videos and that's the fun about subscribing is that it's truly like a, a, a gamble. And who doesn't need more uncertainty in their world right now? I don't know. I'm worried that people are gonna like you more than me. <gasps> Wait, forgot something. She's all that.